Well, good afternoon. And we're out again, and this is, um, I'm going to say, this is a return visit. Uh, and I want to thank at this stage anybody who has subscribed and follows my channel. It's very much appreciated. So, yeah, we're on a return visit to Cogra Moss. Um, I came here, I think it was in June. Was it June or May on one of the bank holidays, thinking... Where could I go that's a little bit quieter when I'm going to have hordes of people? And I came here. And it was very pleasant. I just felt it was all a bit... a bit green. But I just had this feeling if I come back a bit later in the summer, and we're now into the middle of August, that hopefully we'll get a, a more colourful affair that the hopefully that the water lilies are out and that the um, not the moss <laughs> I was going to say the moss the, the, oh the heather that the heather will be out and we've got some colour in the heather so that's the idea of today's visit to see whether I was correct in my assumption about coming back so yeah, we'll we'll see what it's like. So yeah, and thank you all that are, are watching at this stage, and hope you enjoy the video. So we'll um, see you a little bit later. Right. Well, we've made it to the moss, um, and there's two things I'm a little bit disappointed about, but we'll see what happens as we go around. First of all. Yeah, I don't know whether you can hear, but you can certainly see it is an awful lot windier than um, when I was last here. And looking at it, I think it's, I was hoping it would be um, slightly lower that I could get out to some of the islands that I, were just that the water was a bit too deep. But I don't think um, this time we'll be getting to the, maybe any of the islands because, um, yeah, the, the water is definitely higher. We can see if we come and look over here. It's going down the overspill. Although that might, if we can get down, that might make um, a composition looking at uh, the overspill. Um, and I can't remember what I said in the introduction, and at the risk of repeating myself, I will put a link in the description below to the, the video about when I came here in um, May, June time. So you can compare and contrast. So. We're just going to have a mooch around, see what compositions we can come up, start going round, and we'll see you a little bit later. Right. Well, we've made it to uh, this first island again. So I think the water is a bit higher. It's getting near the, the top of my... Um, well, it's as I was get, approaching the, this walkway. Um, as we can see round here, the heather is out. Um, this is not particularly spectacular, um, but what I have done, um, before I got here, I went down and on the, the spillway, it took some handheld shots. Um, it wasn't really suitable for getting the tripod out. And I thought I'd just get some um, images of the heather as well. So I've taken um, basically the same composition, but... Um, some in portrait and some in landscape uh, and to be focused stacked but they are handheld images so if, if they're any good we'll put them up after this and hopefully as we go around we'll find some um, heather that's maybe a bit more spectacular and got somewhere where we've got um, a reasonable image to get them in the in the foreground etc but um, yeah, I mean, uh, just looking over to that island there, which is the one I couldn't get to last time. There seems to be a header on there. So we'll see how we get on. Um, I just wanted to come back, and I apologise if it's not... Um, ..get the best of images. But we'll see. We don't know. We might find, go around and find something quite spectacular. Um, so we're going to carry on. We're going to do what we did last time, rather than sticking to the footpath going round. We are going to stick near to the water's edge, I think. So, anyway, we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, well we've left the water's edge a little bit and we've come up onto this bit of um, heather covered land here. Um, and you'll see if um, you looked at the video last time, there's this smaller body of water and this is it here. And I was just wondering um, if there was going to be any images um, from up here. So probably what I'll do is I'll just have a mooch around, see if we can come up with anything. Um, it's not as good as I was hoping. I was hoping to find lilies somewhere and although there's reeds etc I can't actually see any lilies. So we'll, we'll get the camera out, we'll have a wander around, see if we can come up with any compositions because some of this heather is quite nice. Um, it's just whether we can find a suitable um, background to go with it. So right Anyway, I'll stop rambling, get the camera out and see what we can find. So we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've come up with our composition. I thought I'd show you it um, through the through the stills camera as well. Um, I think I... Sorry about the um, picture of me, it's a little blown out because it's um, very bright behind me. But um, this is the composition. I've got there's this particularly nice bit of heather um, in the foreground here uh, and then there's the body of water right across there and then the hill behind. Um, I mean, you've seen it as a, a 9 by 16 crop on, on the video here um, and I think um, I may actually keep it at that because um, obviously above there there's just sky and below there's there's just green. We'll play around with it when we get home on, on the computer, but I thought that made quite a a nice composition with the, the heather uh, and there's other bits of heather which is not quite nice and bright. Uh, there's the, the tarn behind, tarn, uh, body of water, small moss, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the, the other thing I was just going to say, I do have um, a polarizer, circular polarizer on just to get rid of some of the glare off off the water itself. So um, I'm not quite sure exactly what, what settings we're going to have because at the moment we're a 50th of a second f9 100 ISO but that's to get a nice um, right um, settings for the for the video but uh, I'm, I think it would be similar. I don't particularly want to go much slower than that because it is quite windy and um, as you can see there's quite a lot of grass uh, and I don't want to, that to be seen um, to be blowing around. The only other thing I'm looking at it now which I might do uh, and you'll notice it when the actual images come out which I haven't actually um, captured yet I might just raise the tripod up uh, a little bit just to give um, a slightly different perspective just so we can see a little bit more of the uh, of the water there so anyway I'll stop rambling I'll get the images captured and whichever is the best uh, we'll put up on the video after this and I might turn round and see if we can get one looking the other way and if I get one there that's suitable I'll put that up on the video as well so anyway we'll see you a little bit later
Right, well we've managed to get to this island that we got to last time. Um, you can see you've just come across there, there's a barrier to hold on to. Um, and we've come from round there. There is a bit of a waterfall in the trees between the two bodies of water. Um, I did try and get some images of it. If, the, if they're any good, I'll put them up after this. Uh, but I'm not convinced about them. And there's nothing particularly on this island in the in the current light, etc. Um, so I think we're going to go back onto the shore and head back to the van. Um, so I mean, it'd be nice to get to that island there because I think there's more onto it. But I, last time I tried, uh, it was just too deep, and I have a feeling the water's even deeper this time. So. But we'll make our way down to there, uh, and if there's anything else, we'll obviously show you it. Um, but anyway, whatever happens, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we tried to um, get to the island there, but uh, maybe got a quarter of the way there, but it was just, um, it was alright to the point I got, but it, it, it was suddenly going to get a lot deeper and it was going to go over the top of my well so. So we're heading back to the van now, but no, it's been a pleasant afternoon, evening. Um, yeah, I mean there are possibilities and I think I've got one or two nice um, shots not epic but nice and yeah I'm glad I came whether I'd come again I don't know I just felt when I came last time there was more potential in in the, the right time of year which possibly now is with with the heather I just had this feeling that uh, in parts of it particularly where it was shallow and less windy that there might be some water lilies and, and I think the heather and the water lilies would have been quite good together so yeah it's just one of those things so yeah i think um uh, just to remind people if you've enjoyed it please click the thumbs up if you like what i'm doing why not subscribe and if you if there's anything absolutely anything please ask your question please comment i do respond to all comments even if it's just a thank you for uh, a, a, a nice word about it so and I think next time we need to we need to have a good look I think we're gonna go this is Thursday and hopefully this will come out on Sunday um, I was thinking maybe of going out on on Sunday trying to find a nice mountain to climb and a, a nice walk um, but one where there is some chance of some composition so Need to do a bit of research before Sunday. I need to get this processed as well. So, anyway, I'm beginning to ramble again. So, anyway, thank you, uh, anybody who's watched it till this far, and we'll see you on the next video.